What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here, back again for episode number 16 of our Pokemon Obsidian Let's Play in the last episode. We explored the first Everan Tower, uh, which was apparently overtaken by these guys known as the Seekers, who were in there searching for artifacts. And as we were leaving, we ran into the white-haired guy, Ark, who made some pretty bold claims, and apparently he can see what is going to happen in the future. Our dad and Phil are a little bit skeptical, but you know what? I, I got a feeling that he might be telling the truth. So we're about to head off to the next town where we will uh, hopefully see if he can prove that what he has been foreseeing is true. So if you're excited for today's episode, if you're enjoying this LP so far, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch because your support is greatly appreciated. But let's quickly go over our team. We got Top Gunner Star Ravia level 26 with Tackle, Double Team, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. Tough Arnita Arena level 22 with Bite, Poison Sting, Tail Whip, and Double Kick. Vado Arcoca Pound level 25, Rockin' Karate Chop, Sand Attack, Razor Leaf, and Bulk Up. Lady Loxus or Flaffy level 23 with Tackle, Growl, Thunder Shock, and Thunder Wave. Charlie or Charmeleon level 25, Rockin' Growl, Ember, Smoke Screen, and Rage. And Nom 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 are Gibble level 22 with Sand Attack, Dragon Rage, Sand Tomb, and Take Down. Alright, so uh, we're gonna rock out. I think I'm actually gonna switch. Uh, nom 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 up front for a little bit. Let him rock out because he hasn't seen any screen time. We're gonna heal up before we go any further. And I think we actually are going to have to go through the desert again, which is a bit unfortunate. I should check my town map just to make sure, but I'm going to scoop up some more repels. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to buy all this because I don't want to run into things all through this desert because it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you at all. It's no fun. So let's, uh, let's, you know what? I'm actually going to, uh, to glitch this a little bit so we can speed up. Oop, I didn't do it right. Um, alright, sweet. So, uh, let's check our town map really quickly. Alright, this is where we're going, Rootspeak Town. It doesn't look like it's that far away, so, uh, that's a good thing. Oh, actually, it looks like we don't even have to go back through the desert. Okay, sweet. Uh, no. We'll hold off on using the repel because I think we actually have to go this way now. Yeah, because these guys were they were blocking this route originally. Um uh I kinda I kinda am regretting the whole decision to do the speed up thing now. Since we are going that way. Let me go and actually fix that really quick. Just because I don't want to speed through anything that might be exciting. Although, I don't know how exciting another route is going to be. It actually looks pretty short on the map, so hopefully it doesn't take us uh, too long to get through through the route. But we probably will have to battle some trainers. Root Spring Town is the home of a sailor of a sailor that ferries people across the expansive sea. He gets paid quite a bit. This is the most, like, bizarre... Ruby Sapphire remix I think I've ever heard in my life. Wow. And we see the Starly here. Look at Gibble. He's just not even touching the not even touching the ground. Quick attack! What are you doing? I'm gonna blow you away with that dragon rage really quick. That's gonna be annoying, the fact that he just does not touch the bottom of the screen. Uh, let's scoop up this TM09. Nice. So we got a lot of TMs. I wonder if TMs are infinite use in this game. I'm going to say probably not. Which is unfortunate. One of the... That's one of my favorite things that they added in, uh, you know, 5th generation, I believe it was when they added it. And it continued into 6th generation. And that was uh, unlimited use of TMs and HMs. That was really cool. I'm glad that they decided to do that because... It was always really annoying to like only get to use certain TMs one time in a game. Uh, so I'm just going to use Takedown on this Pidgey really quick. To be honest, I probably could have beat him with a Dragon Rage, but uh, it's all good. He's going to gust us. Uh, do I, I don't want to waste another... 
I don't want to waste a Dragon Rage at this point, but we'll get rid of this Pidgey. He was only level 16. Pidgey Oto. All right. Uh, I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm real. I'm real. Uh, catch this Dragon Rage, bruh. That gust might actually hurt a little bit. It uh, didn't do too much damage to us. The Dragon Rage does not take him out, unfortunately, though. He's going to quick attack us. And hopefully this takedown doesn't take too much recoil. Or doesn't cause too much recoil. About to send in Need Arena. Okay, I think I'm going to need to switch. Uh, I'm going to go into... You know what? Let's get Charlie in. Let's get Charlie in. Charlie hasn't gotten to put in much work. So, we'll go into Charlie, hit you with an Ember, blow you back really quick. You ate that up. Another one will take you out, though. So, let's do that. Let's get rid of this neat arena. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And how many Pokemon do you have? Jeez, no wonder your Pokemon were so low-leveled. Got like 70 Pokemon right now. The Tail Whip. The Tail Whip. I see you. Trying to make plays. You're trying to drop my stats. I understand. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. So, Youngster Duncan, you are a pain. Is this the way we're supposed to be going? Because I, I don't like missing out on items and stuff. And I feel like they've got too many branching paths. And it messes with my OCD because I want to go explore it. But at the same time. Yo, this remix sounds funky. I don't know if it's something like one of the sound files isn't proper or if that was the way it was intended to sound, but it sounds kind of funky to me. Are we really just going to run into Centrits and all this stuff? You know, it's kind of wild that we haven't really... It's only like in the forest that we've ran into stuff that's kind of... kind of like interesting, you know what I mean? Like everything else has been pretty just like generic route to... There's one of those hooded guys. There's a Star Ravia, so at least, you know, at least he's a little bit higher leveled or whatever. Uh, or, a, or a level, a stage one Pokemon, rather than a basic. I can't do this. I hate going to, going on these missions with no specific goal in mind. If they just filled us with all the details, it would be easier on us. I hope they don't notice that I ditched them. I don't want to help them anymore. That dude. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this strategically. Let's get right here, and then I'm gonna use my repel. There we go. So I actually used all my repels because I think I just bought 29 of them. So we got a quick claw. Ooh, not mad about that. Not mad about that at all. Yeah, let's use another one. Just so I can go back over here and check this side, because there's going to be something over here. Uh, that's a tree. A Rostberry. So not the greatest thing in the world, but A, it is a free item, so... We, you know, we might use it. We might actually put that on somebody. Who m would most likely get burned? Who is most likely to get burned? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and, before I battle this guy... Uh, I'm going to use a fresh water on Nom Nom Nom. Let's check over here. Here, Yep, here's an item. Always look around. I wish I could buy super repels. That's a great ball. That's actually a nice thing to scoop up. Okay, cool. It's about this guy. This route is like the bunny hill for hiking. The bunny hill for hiking. The bunny slopes. Geo dude. Alright, nom nom nom. I don't know. Can you take this thing? Let's sand to him and see what that does. It misses. That's what it does. There's the rock throw. It's not gonna do a whole lot. It's gonna do more than I really wanted to do, to be perfectly honest. The sand team does nothing. It's worthless. Correction, it's less than worthless. Let's hit you with another sand. You know what? I'm just gonna take you out because I already put in effort. I'm not. I don't want to switch at this point. Magnitude 
Four. Okay. Does three hit points worth of damage. Actually, I don't know. Wasn't paying attention to what my HP was at. Oh, cool. My sand tomb misses. I ought to be used to sand tomb just missing because I've used it plenty of times in... Plenty of times in platinum and I've just missed. And it's annoying. It is annoying. Like, can't I just, like, do the thing? Wait, why am I not dragon raging you, to be honest? Why am I not... Professional Pokemon player, guys. Professional Pokemon player. That would have made our job a lot easier. Sitting in that air on. Watch this. Watch how much this Dragon Rage is going to do. Yeah, it almost killed him. Great. Glad I wasted all that time saying to me. I don't know what I was thinking. I literally don't know what I was thinking. So let's do that. Let's just you know, attack Laron. He's real. He is real. I'm gonna sand tomb you. That'll actually do decent. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Headbutt. Calm down, my man. Calm down, my man. I catch this dragon rage. I am raging like a dragon. Here we go, level 23, getting those sweet levels. I don't remember what level. Do you, you evolve at level 33? Hello? Look at how adorable my Pokemon are. Last Emily. Last Emily is here. Nom nom nom, I'm sorry, you're not, you're not feeling this. You're not feeling this. Lady Loxus, it's your time to shine. I don't remember if Gibble is like, uh, like most of the other, like Dragonair and stuff like that, and, uh, Pupitar, that's what he's called. <laughs> let's try to think of the second stage of, let's try to think of the second stage of, uh, Tyranitar, and Pupitar was slipping my mind for some reason. There we go. Veneri! You're gonna send out normal type. I feel you. I feel you. It's, this is called the counter plays right here. Fado, it is your time. It is your time. Karate chop away. Karate chop away. Thank you for not missing. Ah, it used endure. It used endure. Cheeky, cheeky little binary. Frustration. I don't know, man. I don't, she must think that that thing hates her or something. Send out Jolteon. Calm down. Why did he all of a sudden get real? He just got real all of a sudden. Let's go out to uh, Nom Nom Nom. You're pretty frail, right? You're kind of a glass cannon. Stop. Stop making your pro plays, Jolteon. Sorry, Glitch, but it had to happen. That's a good Jolteon sprite, though, to be honest. Look kind of look kind of nice. Pokemon is still cuter than yours. You know what? You're not completely wrong. Jolteon is pretty adorable. Wait, what else did you have? I don't remember. Stupid stuff. Hey B, do you remember hearing about Mewtwo a long time ago? I can't believe that they were able to make their own Pokemon. Science really is incredible. Who do you think you are, Ash Ketchum? Science is amazing. Oops, I used a repel. I think it just saw uh, Giovanni, the Team Rocket leader from Kanto. Didn't he disappear a long time ago? Dude, you're crazy. There's a waterfall. Look at the waterfall. Look at the lily pad, too. No. Let's not use any more of those. Look, everybody's here. The gang's all here. The door's locked. Well, some part of Ark's vision is correct. Lucan and his men are here. There's a lot of them, but what are, the, what are the, we supposed to do? Just as I saw, Lucan and his men. It looks like they were discussing the next move. Don't interfere, Magic. 
Oh, snap. So, you weren't able to get to the top of the tower. Something tells me you didn't try hard enough. Do you really want to be a part of this? Because if you're not committed to our plan, then you can leave. We don't need people tagging along that won't be able to help. Arr, no sir, no. I do want to help. I just, I don't know, I just couldn't find a way up. I'm sorry. It's a small setback. We'll just have to head to the other towers and didn't come back to the Gaia Tower. All will work out, don't you worry. Now, the sailor here was kindly, has kindly offered to ferry us across the ocean. What a kind jester. We are taking him up on his offer. So if, there, if there's anyone here who wants to turn around now and quit, now is the time. Ha, ah, good. No one is backing out. I admire all of your commitment. Who is this? Hey kid, you look familiar. Who are you? Magic. Interesting. Weren't you the kid that was eavesdropping on us in Oak Grove City? Did you think I didn't see you? Here we are in the same situation, only this time I'm confronting you. What do you want? Are you following us? Nosiness is not a characteristic you want, kid. It can get you into trouble. We have a schedule to stick to, so I won't waste my time with you any longer. Let me just say, I better not see you snooping around again, or there will be consequences. Good day, child. Did he just kick me? Are you alright, Magic? It looks like he hit you pretty hard. Why did you get so close to them, Magic? They could have hurt you. Just as my vision showed, they are leaving now with that sailor. We have no way acro across the ocean now. It's so hard to do voices when it's constantly switching back and forth. You also said you, you would, there would be another person that could help us across the ocean. Phil is asking around. Why don't we do the same? We can meet somewhere in town once we find something. Good idea. Let's get to it. Alright. So I'm just wondering, is there a gym in this town? That's kind of what I'm interested in. There's a lot of Pokemon in here. This is the daycare? Is that what's happening? Alright, well I'm gonna go heal up really quick. That's what we're gonna do first of all. Hello? Alright, this machine should be all set up. Sorry it took me so long to come and get it running. Oh, it's no problem at all. Thanks again. Oh, hello young man. You wouldn't happen to be a Pokemon trainer, would you? Oh, wonderful. Then let me show you something. You see this P the, that PC there? I'm the creator of that wonderful invention. My name is Bill. You may have heard of me. This machine, though, this is truly my greatest invention since the PC. I've been working on it for several years now. I only splice my molecules with a confla with a confla a confla a clefairy on accident. Luckily, the legendary trainer Red arrived. I'm sure you've heard of Red. I haven't heard from him in many years. Anyway, that was just my prototype. I finally perfected it. Hello? It's a teleportation machine. It's mainly used by trainers. You just insert your town map data, and it will allow you to teleport to any previously visited town or Pokemon Center. I guess since you will be one of the first people to test it, I can give you a free destination. How does that sound? So what place would you like? Olivine City? Celadon City? Rosewood City? Heck, I could even give you the, get you to the base of Mount Moon. Rosewood City it is. That's a dangerous city, but I won't argue with you. Wait! I want to go to Olivine! I want to go to the Johto region! Oh man. Well, there you go, Magic. I hope you use the machine wisely. Perhaps we'll see each other again sometime. Well, bye now. I could have went to the Johto region. Why? So, yo, this is the teleportation machine that Bill was working on in red and blue. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. And that, and Bill was the guy. Oh my goodness, that's super cool. That's really cool. I'm not going to lie. That's really cool. All right. Like, I'm, I can get down with that. That's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. Alright. Well, let's... Let's get all healed up. So, should I go talk to Phil and them now? Or, like, what... What should I do? I guess I should look around town first. 
I didn't expect plot to happen in the Pokemon Center. That's kind of ri- that's kind of wild. Uh, I was gonna say rad and wild, and it came out as riled. I don't know. Hashtag making words. Let's see, making English. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the daycare. I'm the daycare lady. Yeah. Whoa. Aren't the daycare man and lady like married? You look pretty young to be married to uh, that guy. I'm the daycare man. I don't take care of. Oh, that's your granddaughter. Okay. I like to capture weaker Pokemon, then have the daycare people take care of them until they're strong enough for my team. Well, you know, that's cool and all, but, you know, you can't, can kind of, like, you know, lose some decent moves if you're not careful. Gotta be very careful about that. And I can't go into any of these things, because it's nighttime, which means we're missing out on things in the game. I actually should have not been holding the B button when I left there. Alright, there we go. That's a little bit better. Let's go over here. Have any luck? I couldn't find any. I couldn't. Oh, that's Phil. Have any luck? I couldn't find anyone willing to help. Got any good news for us, Magic? Really? You met Bill? He's a brilliant guy. I had heard about his teleportation machine being installed in all the poker centers. I didn't think we'd, he'd have them all up and running by now, though. How convenient. You can share your map data with us, then. We can all use, the tele use it to teleport to Rosewood City. No, we can't all go. This was the whole point of me going with you guys, to prove that my visions were right, so that you would, you would listen to me. Don't you see? My latest visions were correct, which means that my other ones will be as well. You guys said you'd let me prove it to you, so you must listen. You even said that you can change the outcome of your visions, Ark. Why wouldn't we be able to change this? We can make it out safe. I have no idea what to avoid in Rosewood that would allow us to change the outcome. My vision didn't show us enough. Yes, it's possible to change. This is too dangerous of an event to risk not being able to change, Phil. You, gu you guys, please listen. I'm trying to protect you. How do we know magic will be safe? I can see how we'll be safe if we stay back, but what about him? Your son is a great Pokemon trainer. Hey, thanks. Which will, which will be the aid enough for him, but... With my traveling alongside him, he will be even safer. I've seen that Lucan is not, not a safe man, and I think that only Magic and I can stop him. I don't want you to risk your lives along with others. It will be easier without worrying about your guys' safety as well. Why can't we just ask the police for assistance? That's their job. They couldn't stop Team Rocket. They're inco incompetent. Do you really think, on top of their uselessness, that they'd listen to me? I don't think someone is going to listen to me based on visions I have. I was lucky that you agreed to let me test my vision. The cops won't be giving with their time as you guys were. You have a point, Ark. So what do you suggest we do? I don't want to just give up and go home. You guys can go back to Maple Branch Town and help Tamarack with his research. You may be able to find things he hasn't yet. Like what? You guys weren't able to get to the top roof of Gaia Tower. Perhaps the answer to that is in some of his books. Plus, if we do need you, you can teleport to whichever city we're in. We just have to transfer our map data to you. Fine, we'll listen to you. You two, you two can go on together without us. Just please, check in as often as possible. Yes, sir, we will. I know how hard it must be to leave your son, but I promise you everything will work out in the end. Magic is almost a man now. I trust in him to make the right decisions when the time comes. I'll miss you, son. Please be careful. This is where your real journey begins, Magic. No no more tagging along with us. You're on your own for the most part. I've pretty much been on my own this whole time anyway. I mean, come on. I've seen you grow as a trainer. I suggest you keep getting the gym badges. that They'll help sharpen your skills. Just come and talk to us whenever you need advice, Magic. I'm not going to say goodbye, son, because I know that we'll see each other in the near future. So I'll just say good luck and be careful. All right, finally they, they moved on, and Ark's going to talk to me for ten more minutes. Well, let's get going, Magic. We haven't got time to lose. We need to retire those tower gyms before Luke does. Retrieve. Retire. Oh, and don't worry, I'll make sure you know about any visions I have that should help us out with getting the gyms before him. Off to Rosewood City. See you there, Magic. Alright, so he's off. He's bouncing. He's just leaving us. He was like, I will travel with your son, but then he, he leaves us. So, cool. We're back on our own. So, it looks like we're going to the next town. And you know what? Oops, I went to the wrong town. <laughs> hmm. 
So in the next episode, I'll go ahead and start wrapping things up in the next episode. We will be exploring Root Spring Town. I'm going to go ahead and save the game right here. And in the next episode, we're going to do all of that. So hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, hit that like button down below for us. But for now, I'm going to get out of here. So have yourselves a good day. Stay cool. And we will catch you next time.